So, what we have here Studio is the uh, hello.get.js, which is the JavaScript file, which is the controller. And um, you're going to put that in the same directory with the descriptor file. And you see this, this controller is really something. Uh, it's really a piece of art. Um, it gets a new date and makes sure that that date is available to the, to the presentation model. So don't be, you know, basically don't be too confused by the word model here. Um, that's sort of the presentation's understanding of the model. And you can basically, you can add any variable you want to the model just by simply saying model dot my variable name equals some value. And then um, you have a free marker template, which again follows the same convention, hello dot HTTP method, which in this case is get, and then FTL, which tells the engine that's a free marker template. And we're going to just make a really simple uh, presentation. And um, all that they're really going to do is, is uh, say hello world and pronounce the state, um, which in the free marker, to uh, access a variable within the model, you, you just say dollar sign, open square bracket, today's date, a squiggle bracket, close squiggle bracket, and then um, and then that's it. Basically, and you don't have to mention the word model. In fact, you don't mention the word models. It's all taken care of for you. So once you guys get that done, just give me a nod. Is the copy and paste working now? Does that, does that help? Oh yeah. <clears throat> I guess maybe the idea is that if you type, so all these files would sit in the same place. Exactly the same place. You you could put uh, web scripts in you know groups of files under individual folders. I've never tried to separate a group of files. I, I don't know if that will work or not. I suspect it won't. Now, if we just, if you know, if we forgot to put the JS file and we just put this FTL file on the system, the web script engine would blow up because this isn't this value isn't available to it, and FreeMarker doesn't like that. It doesn't like access to something that doesn't exist without first checking see if it doesn't exist and then not accessing it. So that would cause the engine to blow up. It's really free marker throwing an error in them. Okay. And then once you've got those files in place, you want to go to the web script registry, which is the uh, index page that we were just looking at. And there is a, um, a refresh web scripts button. And when you click that, it's going to say that you had X number of web scripts and now you have you know, X plus one uh, number of web scripts. If you're lucky, if you're not lucky, it'll tell you that you have uh, a new number of errored web scripts. And then um, if, you're, if you're lucky and successful, <coughs> which I suspect we will be, um, you can then test the web script by going directly to its URL at service slash uh, lab slash hello.